to my car, the more friends I'll have. But for one week only, God save me, I've been given that. If you believe the badges, it's a Proton Sport Automatic 1.5 SE triple valve Le Mans. Sport? How do you work that out? It costs the fifth gear coffers just £210, less than my BMW's tyre. Is that a concern? Just like my car, it's got a full MOT, four wheels, and is white. Uh, number plate issues. Uh, somebody's snotty tissue. What else have we got? Spare cupboards. You are joking. Now, at the end of my week with this piece of art, I will be able to tell you whether it's worth swapping your motor for a banger like this. Is it, in fact, a really good way of saving a whole lot of cash? Or, on the other hand, is it like tripping up and landing face first in the world's biggest dog tod? Ugh. Wish me luck. Woo. Here we go. So here we go, this is trip one in the Proton, on the way to see my mates now. This will let me test what life with a banger does to your image. This reveals the first downside of running a banger. Mates just don't understand you're trying to save cash. They just think you're a bit of a prat. And female friends, well, they're even more scathing. Whose car is it? It's mine. Give me a kiss. Mm, How's it going? Doing? All right. How you doing? Whose car is it? Well, this is my new. This is my new ride. Did you find it? Two hundred quid. Yeah, we're looking at it in the shop. Shoes more expensive than this car. Hey, this car is it. New car. Yeah, whatever. What does Kate Lawler and her radioactive Tam know anyway? This made me feel very protective of the old Proton. To a point. Today, I opened the door of the Proton onto a bollard by mistake. Bang! My first reaction was, oh my god, have I damaged the bollard? How brilliant is that? As time went on, another benefit of the banger became apparent. 40 miles per gallon made it twice as economical as my M3. I wanted to use it as much as possible, even tackling motorways. Now, to be fair, it is actually quite smooth. I mean, the steering wheels cock on pretty straight. No airbags, obviously. But frankly, if I was to have a crash in a car like this, I wouldn't want to live it through it. I think I'd rather just be over and done with, you know, just like that. Because I, 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 it would be so humiliating to be pulled out of a wreck of one of these by a nice-looking paramedic. The other aspect my week with a car costing £210 revealed is what I call reliability roulette. You never quite know what tinsy wincy little niggle is going to crop up next. Say, for example, on the school run. Oh my god. It's revving at 6,000 RPM. The door just swung open by itself. <laughs> Look after her, mate. She's a beaut. In pure economics, this experiment has been a total success. We'd bought a car with MOT and tax for the price of a peak time rail ticket. You drive everywhere, feeling like you're constantly in profit. She looks mint. I might actually hang on to this. I really might.